this is this is lesson seven in the code.org uh, web design in this we're uh, working on the mini project meaning we're just adding a lot more to your website however there is a section for some new material as we progress into the third button we're going to learn how to do rgb coloring and then applying that to some of our features so if we look at the idea of what RGB coloring is, that means all colors are made of our three primary colors, which is our red, green, and blue. Depending on the value that we give our red, green, and blue will ultimately determine what color we have. Now, every single color uh, is broken down into an RGB value. As you can look over here and what they give you, you can progress and make the different colors that they ask. Uh, but again, this is something that if you have a color, you can research it online, find these values. What I'm going to show you is not really how to make colors, but I'm going to show you how to program that color feature. So when we get to bubbles four and five, four asks you to continually code your website just like we have in the past. So you have those examples for like headers and other things that you've done. In yours, you'll have a developed web page here. Uh, what I'm going to show you is I have that link style sheet and you can see I have a paragraph tag here and I have my break lines uh, just so I have something there. Easily I could have put words or other things within there. But what I'm going to show you is I'm going to code that paragraph and what I'm going to put in is type in its background color. So I have that background color. Now, what do I want my background color to be? I'm going to type in my RGB, then my parentheses, and I'm going to place in three numbers. Now, I'm doing these numbers randomly, and I'm going to close this out, end with my uh, semicolon, and then end with my curly uh, bracket uh, to close out this rule. And what you're going to see is everything here within that paragraph is going to have that background color. So all my paragraphs would have separate background colors. Uh, for an example, if I came back here and let's just put a header one in here, I'm going to do my header one code and I'm just going to say hello. I'm going to close my header one here as well. So you're going to see my header one doesn't have that same background because that rule that I applied only applied to my paragraph. So if, let's just walk through this whole process again. If I did my H1 rule, again, I could go background color. And if again, I choose my RGB value, and I'm just going to put some random numbers in there. Again, what those account for is the values for that particular red, green, or blue, meaning how much red, green, or blue. And we'll notice that I have my background for this. We can see the hello header now has that background. What we did not color is the background of the entire web page. What we just did is I showed you how to color using RGB the background of a, of a specific tag. So in lesson seven, you're going to continue on. You can explore as you uh, add more text to your web page or home page. Uh, as you add, you can then come over to your bubble five, which deals with the styling of that web page. And you can then continue just to build that web page as we've been going through. And then ultimately, bubble six would be to review the web page that you created. So not much to this lesson, just some RGB values and how to use those in our style sheets. And then we're going to uh, just continue building our web page.